Fidel Valdez Ramos, born on March 18, 1928, in Lingayen, the Philippines, is the 12th President of the Philippines and Chairman of the Ramos Peace and Development Foundation. He won a government scholarship to the United States Military Academy at West Point and later studied engineering at the University of Illinois. He held prominent positions under both Marcos's and Aquino's administration. Under Mr. Ramos's administration, the Philippines enjoyed economic growth and stability. The Philippine Stock Exchange in the mid-1990s was among the best in the world. He is considered one of the most effective presidents in the Philippines' history. Mr. Ramos has received several military awards including the Philippine Legion of Honor, the Gold Cross, Philippine Military Merit Medal, the United States Legion of Merit, the French Legion of Honor and the U.S. Military Academy Distinguished Award. He is perhaps the most decorated Philippine soldier in history and one of the most decorated people of the Philippines of all time. During his time as President of the Philippines, Supreme Master Ching Hai went to the presidential palace Malacanang to ask for his assistance on behalf of the Aulaxis or Vietnamese refugees who were at that time refused refugee status by other countries thus would face repatriation. In response the president issued an order granting permanent residency to some 5,000 Aulaxis or Vietnamese refugees. For this great act of compassion and courage in February 2007, Supreme Master Ching Hai presented the Shining World Leadership Award to Fidel Ramos and often spoke of him with respect and tears of gratitude. She said, He is a great man, kind and loving leader to his people and strangers. On his birthday, he had spent his wealth and time with the poor. The former president has always expressed his appreciation for Supreme Master Ching Hai as well as his admiration for her own work for peace. In his retirement from public service, which spans over 50 years, Mr. Ramos established the Ramos Foundation for Peace and Development, or RPDEV, in 1999. With the motto of caring, sharing and daring, the foundations extend throughout the Philippines and the larger Asia-Pacific region to empower youth support sustainable development and poverty alleviation and develop democratic governance. Up to date, Supreme Master Ching Hai made several donations to support the noble endeavors of his organization. Prior to his planned visit to Formosa or Taiwan, Mr. Ramos expressed his wish to visit the Supreme Master Ching Hai International Association Center in Taipei. Thus, on Saturday, February 21, 2009, Mr. Ramos was warmly welcomed from the time of his arrival at the Taipei Airport to his formal reception at our association's Taipei Center in Formosa. Hundreds of our association members were honored to hail the arrival of this hero of peace and recipient of the Shining World Leadership Award from Supreme Master Ching Hai. Although she was not able to receive His Excellency personally, Supreme Master Ching Hai had asked our association members to extend her warmest welcome. Some of the 50 distinguished guests also present from the Philippines and Formosa included MECO Taiwan's Managing Director and Resident Representative Antonio I. Basilio, Chairman of the Clark Economic Zone, Rizalina S. Navarro, Executive Director of Ramos Peace and Development Foundation, Frumencio A. Lagustan, Alison Chow, Secretary of Department of East Asia and Pacific Affairs of the Formosan or Taiwanese Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Formosa's Director General Carl Min Ku. During his time in Formosa, the former president was asked to participate as a special and most honored guest in the conference entitled Act Now for a More Peaceful and Safer World. Supreme Master Ching Hai also had been invited as the guest of honor to speak at the conference 
and His Excellency Mr. Ramos was delighted that she was able to speak with him via video conference to discuss their shared ideals for a more caring, sustainable world. We now invite you to join us for the rebroadcast of the video conference with Supreme Master Ching Hai and former Philippine President Fidel Ramos. Act now for a more peaceful and safer world. Held on February 21st, 2009 in Taipei, Formosa or Taiwan. Everyone, please give a warm welcome to President Ramos. The whole world will be become peaceful. I dream that all the killing will stop. I dream that all the children will walk in peace and harmony. This is my dream. Yeah, like home. Well, home. Um, let's welcome His Excellency President Ramos. Mabuhay! Mabuhay! So, so thank you for coming. Please take a seat. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Lin and uh, the members of uh, the foundation established and led by uh, the Supreme Master. Ching Hai. Uh, first of all, on behalf of my delegation, uh, Mr. Ambassador Antonio Basilio of the uh, ECO Manila Economic Cultural Office here in Taiwan, former uh, Minister of Trade and Industry, Roy Navarro, And uh, former Vice Minister of Legislative Affairs, uh, Attorney Nick Lagustano. <laughs> Plus uh, 45 others today who came from Manila. Yes. Yeah. From our sincere heart, we welcome all of you to visit our Formosa, Taiwan, and also visit our Ocean Love Taipei Center. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Lin. Uh, may I explain what Mabohai means? One word only. But many, many good sentiments. One word expresses many sentiments, yes. which are the uh, 
uh, beloved and cherished values of the Filipino people. Yeah, so great, Lee. The Lee is so great. Uh, Mabuhay means, hello, how are you? Ah. <laughs> it also means, Mabuhay, uh, welcome to my house. Yes. Ah. Welcome to my house. You're very welcome. Uh, it also means, may you have good health, oh, yes. Dr. Lin, yeah. and the uh, Supreme Master. And therefore, may you have long, 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 long life. Oh. May you have continued success. Continued success. And uh, complete harmony with your neighbors. Oh, harmony. And maybe most important of all, May you have enduring happiness. Enduring. Happiness. Enduring. Uh, oh, enduring. enduring. Yeah, long yeah. time. Forever yeah. happiness. Because uh, you may not have much money, <laughs> but if you are happy, uh, you are better than the one who has plenty of money, yes. but who is not happy. Yes. But uh, Mabuhay, <laughs> in the Philippines, we do not just say it. We act it. See? <laughs> so when we say mabuhay, will you reach out to your right and to your left and then back and forth and shake the hand of that person that you find there? Okay? Like this. Yeah. <laughs> shake hands, shake hands, shake hands. Please, everyone, shake hands. Thank you. Yeah. But after shaking hands in the Philippines, we embrace and kiss each other. Okay. Uh, at least four times, like this. Oh. That is what Mabohai means. It's yes. a sign of welcome, friendship, hospitality, generosity, compassion, be kind to the poor. And uh, most of all, uh, international friendship. Yes. Peace in the world. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Mabuhay. So, so great mean. Thank you for telling us this uh, special mean of Mabuhay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Greetings, His Excellency, President Ramos and distinguished guests, welcome to the Supreme Master Qinghai International Association Taipei Center. Now, Chairman Lin will make a welcoming speech for our honored guests. Uh, with greatest honor, on behalf of the Supreme Master Qinghai, I'd like to greet and welcome Your Excellency President Ramos and all of our uh, honorable guests. Managing Director and the Resident Representative of Manila Economic and Culture Office in Taiwan, Mr. Antonio Basilio. <laughs> welcome. <laughs> Chairman of Clark Economic Zone, Mr. Riza Lino Navarro. Thank you for coming. <laughs> Executive Director of Ramos Peace and Development Foundation, Attorney Framencio Lacustan. <laughs> Director General of Nation Central Library, Mr. Kumin. Secretary of the Department of East Asia and the Pacific Affairs, Mr. of Foreign Affairs, Mr. Elson Chow. <laughs> welcome to Formosa, Taiwan, and welcome to our Love Ocean Taipei Center. <laughs> One month ago, uh, our association 
received a letter from President Ramos to inform us that he was coming to Formosa and would like to see us with a brief meeting to discuss our common concerns. I was uh, tremendously happy and touched to hear this uh, wonderful news. Maybe you are not aware, but next month on March 18, His Excellency will be 81 years of age. And he is still concerned so much about world peace, people's welfare, and the environment. His caring, sharing, and daring spirit is a noble example for all of us. And because our most beloved master is in Europe with a pre-scheduled, so she cannot come right now to see the president, therefore, we arrange this video conference meeting for these two great people. As we all know, at this moment, many people worry about the global warming, issue of the environment, the economic crisis, etc. I believe Supreme Master Ching Hai and the President Ramos will give us inspiration and guidance that we can live a more secure, happier, and harmonious life. Thank you. Thank you for coming. When we learned that the President Ramos was coming to Formosa, our hearts were full of joy. And so we immediately prepared a very special welcoming program to offer our highest regard for the great honor bestowed upon us. And now, Formosa Band from Ilan Center will play a traditional Chinese music entitled Tea Leaves Harvest Season of Deer Valley Hill.
Wow. Let's thank the Formosan Band for the lovely piece. It's amazing how music has the ability to enchant and transport us to another world. That piece, the Dongdeng Tea of Deer Valley, is famous around the world. This music describes the village of girls happily singing a song while picking leaves during the harvest season. The whole melody is full of a delightful atmosphere. Now, among many of the outstanding world leaders, Mr. Ramos is one of the presidents who were honored with the Shining World Leadership Award from Supreme Master Ching Hai. Now, I'd like to invite you to watch the following DVD to appreciate a great moment of this great man. Caring, sharing, and daring is the motto of former Philippine President Fidel Ramos and his organization, the Ramos Peace and Development Foundation. The foundation's works extend throughout the Philippines and the larger Asia-Pacific region to empower youth, support sustainable development and poverty alleviation, and develop democratic governance. Recently, Supreme Master Ching Hai made a 30,000 US dollar donation to the organization. In the Philippines, this amount is equivalent to 418,000 US dollars in the United States based on the local cost of living. Even a decade after the conclusion of his presidency, Mr. Fidel Ramos continues with active contributions to the constructive development of his fellow Philippine citizens through the numerous organizations he leads, advises, and participates in. During his time as President of the Philippines, Supreme Master Ching Hai went to the Presidential Palace Malacanang to ask for his assistance on behalf of the Alexis or Vietnamese refugees, who were at the time refused refugee status by other countries, thus would face repatriation. In response, the President issued an order granting permanent residency to some 5,000 Alexis or Vietnamese refugees. For this great act of compassion and courage, in February 2007, Supreme Master Ching Hai presented the Shining World Leadership Award to Fidel Ramos and often spoke of him with respect and tears of gratitude. She said, He is a great man, kind and loving leader to his people and strangers. On his birthday, he'd spend his wealth and time with the poor. The former president has always expressed his appreciation for Supreme Master Ching Hai, as well as his admiration for her own work for peace. Upon receiving the donation, Mr. Ramos, now chairman of the Ramos Peace and Development Foundation, wrote the following message of gratitude. Dear Supreme Master Ching Hai, on behalf of the Board of Trustees and members of the Ramos Peace and Development Foundation, or RPDEV, allow me to extend our appreciation for your donation of 30,000 US dollars. Your support to the foundation truly reflects your commitment to empowering the Filipino people, especially the youth, as we aspire towards a world-class Philippines. Your caring, sharing, and daring inspires us to work harder as RPDEV continues to contribute its modest efforts to enduring peace and sustainable development for the Asia-Pacific region. Mabuhay! Best wishes, Fidel Ramos. Our respectful accolades, Your Excellency, for your dedication to the interests and empowerment of citizens in the Philippines and beyond. We thank Supreme Master Ching Hai for her many thoughtful contributions to promote greater peace and well-being among the world's people. Wishing the best for all noble endeavors that benefit fellow humans, we pray for the realization of a more heaven-like earth. President Ramos, you are a very dear and much respected friend of our beloved master. You led the Philippines into prosperity and economic development during your illustrious term as president. In addition, you gave 5,000 Aulak or Vietnamese refugees a new life. 
In 2007, although you were not able to attend our gathering here in Formosa, our beloved master, during a sincere and touching ceremony, brought flowers to the president's photo on the main stage and praised your excellency for all your noble deeds for humanity. Now, we'd like to review this heartwarming moment. Please. Today, we also wish to humbly show our deepest appreciation and respects, starting with the flower offering. For almost two decades, the Supreme Master Qinghai International Association members often went to Philippines for relief work. There are more and more typhoons and flood disasters due to global warming effect. Master has always instructed us to perform relief work at the start of disasters when help is most needed. Last year, during 2008, relief team went to Philippines four times to provide urgent assistance. Climate change is the most important global issue facing the planet at this moment. Scientists have proven in many ways that climate change is causing natural disasters more frequently and more severely. The scientific solution proposed by Supreme Master Ching Hai, be veg, go green, and save the planet. President, as one of the most renowned leaders of the world and environmentalist, we know that we have to act now for a more peaceful and safer world. But how? Although our beloved master cannot come back to Formosa to welcome you due to her tight schedule, but she has instructed us to welcome you the best as we can, for she has much respect for you. Thankfully, she can talk to you during the video conference. Through this video conference, we can discuss most of the important issues that we're facing today. President Ramos, uh, could you give us a little bit of your opinion on the situation in Philippines right now? regarding climate change and uh, climate change refugees? Uh, thank you very much. I uh, first address my uh, humble message to uh, Supreme Master Ching Hai. And uh, equally important to all of you here in uh, Taipei, in Taiwan, which is a very close neighbor to the Philippines. For uh, many, many years now, even as a low-ranking military officer, I have been advocating in my uh, area of responsibility, and then later on as president of the entire Philippines, encompassing our republic of 7,107 islands during high tide, but more islands during low tide. We must all work together and cooperate closely in making our mother planet Earth safer from uh, climate change due to the uh, growing volume of carbon emissions. Yes emanating from three major sources. Number one, from our uh, manufacturing uh, zones and factories. Number two, from our uh, so many vehicles 
burning uh, oil and gas in our streets. And uh, number three, from uh, the pollution of the environment that comes from uh, the dirty and uh, primitive power plants that many of our countries still operate, including in the Philippines. And so, uh, as president, I uh, advocated among the developing countries during the uh, well-known, now famous, uh, Kyoto Conference of 1997 to 1998, where the Kyoto Protocol on uh, Environmental Protection and uh, Protection Against uh, Global Warming took place. The Philippines was the uh, main advocate among the developing countries, and that includes some of the big giants like uh, China, India, and Brazil, as well as all of ASEAN, to uh, agree to the protocol and for their chief delegates and ministers to sign that protocol right there and then in uh, Kyoto. And we were so happy that uh, most of the developing countries, as well as most of the developed countries, agreed to the protocol. And in our own country, we were among the first to ratify by act of Congress the Kyoto Protocol. So did most of the developing countries that we urged to also agree to the uh, implementation of the protocol to give due protection and conservation to the environment. Unfortunately, some of the developed, the more advanced, the bigger countries, after their ministers signed the agreement in Kyoto in 1998, did not ratify that very important international convention. And so, up to now, we do not have full cooperation around the world in uh, limiting or uh, reducing carbon emissions into the atmosphere. And therefore, we all still need to work harder, cooperate more closely, and uh, educate the people of the world about this great danger that uh, threatens all people, all countries, regardless of whether they are rich, poor, big, small, advanced, or uh, least developed. The threat is upon everybody. That is uh, simply explained, and that is because the resources of uh, the good earth, our mother nature earth, are finite, they are limited. But then the population of the world continues to grow every minute. And therefore there is greater and greater demand on our natural resources, especially air, water, and food. And so we must continue this uh, cooperation that we have established and carry it on to the next generation and to the next generations after that, so that uh, there will be a healthier, cleaner, safer, and more prosperous world for the younger ones after us, including the still unborn. After all, we on Earth right now do not own the Earth. We are just the stewards. We are just the guardians for uh, succeeding people to enjoy a better kind of life. So that in the end, there will be no more wars, no more hunger, no more poverty, no more deprivation, no more injustice. And we will truly have 
just one word. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much to share with us uh, right now um, what's occurring in the Philippines and to understand that we are all connected. We are all part of the same planet, the one home, as you mentioned. Uh, I also am aware that in the Philippines, they are encouraging a lot of organic farming or organic agriculture. And uh, you would agree that it starts at an individual level. The, the whole process of working together, the responsibility would start at an individual level. That is correct. In fact, uh, the responsibility of each individual, and that means you, and you, and you, and everybody behind me, it starts at the dinner table. The simple rule in our family, and this is our teaching, Mrs. Ramos and myself to our children, and now because they themselves are parents to their own children, who are our grandchildren, to finish everything in your plate and finish every drop of water in your glass. Because anything that is wasted here will be thrown into the garbage. And then that garbage will go into the uh, canal. And then the canal will flow into the river and poison the fresh water. And eventually that will flow into the sea and further pollute the oceans. So uh, the best rule is you finish everything in your plate and do not waste any water. Because the amount of water in the world is exactly the same now as it was millions of years ago. It's finite, it's not limitless. But yet more and more water is being drunk by more and more people. And then eventually there will be not enough water between my brother and me. And even if Dr. Lin is my best friend here in Taiwan, in this center, someday we might fight each other because there is only one glass of water between the two of us. And so uh, if you carry out that uh, reasoning further, it is possible that uh, the next global war will not take place because of nuclear weapons or uh, a competition for oil or uh, a food, but it will come from the lack of water between two brothers. Thank you. Thank you very much. And I've just been informed, we'd like to invite Supreme Master Ching Hai. Master, are you there? Yeah. Hello. Hello, sir. Hello. Hello, sir, and everybody. <laughs> Thanks for coming. <laughs> master, you look stunning. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for taking the time, Master. We know you have a very busy schedule and you work so hard for us. No, I love to see the President even personally, just I can. First of all, I would uh, like to take this opportunity to thank the uh, Taiwanese government and officials uh, for facilitating this event. And I also thank the association members for your full support in organizing this uh, special conference to greet the great uh, President Ramos and making him feel a little comfortable. <laughs> Welcome, at least, after all this uh, long voyage of travel and uh, enduring all this inconvenience of uh, a long, long flight. Yes, I hope you're okay, sir. Are you all right, sir? Uh, I am uh, better than the others. Thank you. <laughs> you are so good. Yes, thank you. You're always good. <laughs>
my humble greeting and uh, well wishes to all of your distinguished entourage as well as the uh, honor guests present in uh, our assembly today. I wish you all the best and may the divine grace be with you always. And now if you Give me permission, I would like to address His <laughs> Excellency, former President Ramos of the Philippines. Because I feel so sorry that I could not be there to greet him personally and to bow to him personally again. Welcome, benevolent sir, Mr. Ramos. For me, you are Mr. Ramos, <laughs> my hero. <laughs> Not the president, even. You're more than president. <laughs> you have come from far away, from beyond the great sea and high mountains of another nation, to grace Formosa and our meditation center with your gracious presence. I feel so privileged, like all of us there, but I feel so regretful not to be there with you in person to show my respect. I just hope that you can uh, forgive me. It's just that there has been arrangement long ahead, many months ahead, even a year ahead, for me to meet my students, and uh, particularly these, uh, many of which from overseas. If they cannot see me now, like if I cancel the meeting, they might never be able to see me again in the future uh, due to some restriction of their country's visa policy. I'm sure you are aware of that. Not every country is Philippine. <laughs> and not every country has such a freedom that the Philippines government offer to their co-citizens. Now, but there are also other reasons for me as well that I cannot mention. You know, there are the price to pay for whatever we do. <laughs> you know that. Uh, so please, I tell you all this so that you will find in your heart to forgive me for not being there and so that you know that I very much like to be there physically. We are so honored and uh, I am personally very grateful for your esteemed visit in Formosa. Right now, uh, the Vietnamese in Taiwan, as well as all over the world, are rejoicing through uh, the Supreme Master TV live broadcast of your visit. Moreover, billions of global viewers who watch the Supreme Master television would have also the chance to see your compassionate countenance. Sir, every time I think of your grand gesture of uh, magnanimosity many years back, heroically saving thousands of homeless, helpless Vietnamese refugees' lives, I still feel a surge of gratitude, grateful sentiment, that fills my heart, and often tears wells in my eyes still. And I'm sure so that numerous Vietnamese people would have the same feeling as I have. We are forever in debt to your fatherly kindness. As the Bible stated, I will make you the father of many nations. You are the beacon of that godly promise which goes beyond any border and human limit. I have uh, not enough word to express my emotion and gratefulness to you. I pray God to protect you. May your stay in Formosa be pleasant and successful in your noble endeavor to bridge nations and people in building a sustainable, better, loving, and peaceful world. 
and may heaven watch over you, sir, and light your way for more goodwill missions to come. And may the relation between Formosa and the Philippines flourish in mutual respect and lasting friendship. Thank you again for your visit. We love you. Mabuhay. <laughs> Thank you very much, uh, Supreme Master Ching Hai, for your kind words personally, but uh, we acknowledge that uh, your message of goodwill and uh, friendship and uh, harmony is for all peoples, regardless of where they are, regardless of in what condition they may be, and regardless of what they hope for the future. If we all work together hard enough, I'm sure their aspirations and their hopes can be fulfilled. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And please convey my greetings and best wishes to Mrs. Ramos, because as they say, behind a great man, there's always a great woman. <laughs> And I wish your family all the best <laughs> and happiness. Thank you, sir. Appreciate your caring presence on today's episode of Words of Wisdom. Join us again on Tuesday for part two of video conference with Supreme Master Ching Hai and former Philippine President Fidel Ramos. Act now for a more peaceful and safer world. And now, please stay tuned for a journey through aesthetic realms. Coming up next, right after noteworthy news. Please stay with us on Supreme Master Television. May your life overflow with God's boundless love and blessings.